लाइव ऑन मस्ती ए वी आई राइट नाउ हमारा चल रहा है कुकिंग शो विच इज कॉल कुकिंग कम्स अ लाइव द ओनली शो ऑफ इट्स काइंड अक्रॉस साउथ ईस्ट एशिया जहाँ पर रेडियो स्टूडियो से लाइव लाइव हम किचन के अंदर घुसते हैं और लाइव लाइव खाना बनाते हैं पहले अगर आपका स्वागत करता हूँ सिंगापुर रेडियो मस्ती ट्वेंटी फोर सेवन लाइव की वो महफिल जिसे आप थ्रो बैक थर्सडे कहते हैं रेडियो मस्ती ट्वेंटी फोर सेवन आरोप आप हमें दिल की आंखों से देखते हैं लेकिन मस्ती ए वी आई आरोप हम भी आपको देखते हैं और छेड़ते हैं बेस्ट ऑफ ऑडियो एंड विजुअल एंटरटेनमेंट गेम स्टार इंटरव्यूज कॉन्टेस्ट फुल ऑन मस्ती मस्ती ए वी आई मस्ती ए वी आई मस्ती ए वी आई मस्ती ए वी आई Follow us on Radio Masti 24/7 live Singapore Facebook page and watch all shows on Masti AVI tab on our app Radio Masti 24/7. Masti AVI, meaningful entertainment at your fingertips. Brought to you exclusively by Radio Masti 24/7. Absolutely, सही सुना आपने ब्रॉट यू बाई रेडियो मस्ती ट्वेंटी फोर सेवन मस्ती मीडिया नेटवर्क एंड मैं हूँ रेणुका आपके साथ बहुत बहुत स्वागत है आपका आज के हमारे इस खास शो में जिसका नाम वेल well, जो यहाँ पर हमारे गेस्ट हैं उनसे ही जाना माना जाएगा ये नाम <laughs> आपने देख ही लिया होगा आज सुबह से हम बात कर रहे हैं इनफैक्ट दो हफ्ते पहले से हम बात कर रहे थे कि यहाँ पर हमारे स्टूडियो में बहुत ही खास कोई मेहमान आने वाले हैं पर शायद उन्होंने जैसे सुना कि रेणुका उनसे बात करने वाली है वो बीमारी हो गए मैंने कहा यार ऐसी क्या बात हो गई मतलब बड़े बड़े लोग डर जाते हैं मेरे से तो फिर वो भी शायद लेकिन बाद में पता लगा बात कुछ और थी वो घबराने वालों में से तो बिल्कुल नहीं है हेलो आयुषी थैंक यू सो मच भाई आजकल क्या है ना अपर हाफ तैयार होना चाहिए लोअर हाफ मत पूछा करो <laughs> बट वेल गाइज आई गो टेल यू दैट यू नो जब मैं छोटी थी एंड आई वोट से की जमाना बीत गया उस बात को बट खैर जब मैं छोटी थी तो मैं नाम सुना करती थी एक खास बॉलीवुड आर्टिस्ट का इन एक्टर को बड़ा ही मैं सीरियस समझती थी उनको मैंने देखा दूरदर्शन पर इन टीवी सीरीज कॉल गुल गुलशन गुलफाम जिसमें वो इतने ज्यादा कंफर्टेबल लगते थे तो मुझे लगता था कि देर मज बी समथिंग दैट ही हैज फ्रॉम कश्मीर कोई तो लिंक है बड़े ही ज्यादा कंफर्टेबल है बाद में जाके पता लगा वाकई है उसके बाद में ऑफकोर्स मैंने उनको देखा लगे रहो मुन्ना भाई में मैंने उनको देखा थ्री इडियट्स में मैंने उनको बहुत सारी जगहों पे देखा और फिर दो साल पहले हमारी उनसे रेडियो पर बात हुई और जब रेडियो पर हमारी बात हुई सपना जी आज तो मजा आया सपना जी सुना है कि आप अंतरा का शो छोड़ के परीक्षित जी को देखने आई है वेल दैट्स दी दैट्स दी अट्रैक्शन एंड अ मैग्नेटिज्म ऑफ समबडी विद दैट स्टेचर सो थैंक यू फॉर डूइंग दैट है ना अच्छा चलिए जी गायत्री ऑस्ट्रेलिया से जुड़ रही हैं यहाँ पर हमारे साथ नमस्कार गायत्री जी बहुत दिन हो गए आपसे बात किए एंड आरती वेलकम एज वेल टू मस्ती मीडिया नेटवर्क एंड मस्ती ए बहुत खुशी होती है आप सबको यहाँ पर देख के गुल गुलशन गुलफाम वाकई वॉट अज सीरियल दैट वॉज गायत्री सही कह रही हो आप बिल्कुल तो बस उनसे मिलवाने वाली हूँ थैंक यू वेरी मच खान थैंक यू यू आर रॉकिंग ऑलवेज सो कमिंग बैक टू परीक्षित जी तो हुआ ये कि तीन साल पहले मेरी उनसे यहाँ पर ऑलमोस्ट तीन साल पहले रेडियो पर बात हुई और मुझे पता कुछ ऐसा लगा कि उनकी दो दो बेटियां सिंगापुर में रहती हैं मैंने कहा यार सिंगापुर से इतनी क्लोजनेस साथ ही में वन ऑफ हिज डॉटर्स एक्चुअली इज अ फेसबुक फ्रेंड ऑफ माइंड मैंने कहा है इस लड़की ने मुझे कभी बताया नहीं कि ये तो परीक्षित जी की बेटी है इसको पकड़ के लेकर आओ पहले तो क्लास लगाओ कि बताया कैसे नहीं फिर उसके बाद हुआ ये कि हम अदिति को लेकर आए स्टूडियो में हमने उनको डैडी को पकड़ा फोन पे और फिर उसके बाद हमने एक बहुत ही मजेदार सर्च सीरीज किया कॉल यू इंस्पायर मी अगर आपका वो मिस हो गया है तो वॉट यू नीड टू डू इज गो टू आर रेडियो मस्ती ट्वेंटी फोर सेवन का एप और वहां पर पॉडकास्ट सेक्शन में आप वो बात सुन सकते हैं बट वेल well, मुझे पता है आप लोग आज मुझे नहीं देखना चाहते हो आप मिलना चाहते हो परीक्षित जी से आप मिलना चाहते हो अदिति जी से तो मैं दोनों को पकड़ के लेके आई हूँ Right after I wish Dev Soma a very happy birthday. Dev Soma, आज तुम्हारा बर्थडे है 
इसके लिए मैं परीक्षा जी को कहूंगी कि वो आपको विश करें ठीक है यस दैट वॉज अ वंडरफुल सीरियल इन दीद तो चलिए इसी के साथ में अ शॉर्ट टेन सेकेंड्स ब्रेक एंड आई एम गोइंग टू बी बैक ऑन रेडियो मस्ती ट्वेंटी फोर सेवन मस्ती ए वी आई एंड ऑफकोर्स दिस इज गोइंग टू बी एन अमेजिंग 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 शो आई कैन प्रोमिस यू दैट ठीक है तो बढ़ते हैं आगे और लेकर आते हैं मेक श्योर यू आर मस्ती टू योर लाइव डाउनलोड दी एप टू डे एंड स्टे एनर्जाइज एंड कनेक्टेड ऑन द गो Radio Musti 24/7 Live, Singapore's only Bollywood radio since 2009. Oh yeah. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Parikshit ji, welcome. Aditi, welcome. How are you? Thanks, Renuka. Hi, Parikshit ji. Chup kyu ho? Main, main sabko sab meri taraf se aapke shrutaon ko. Main ye soch raha hu ki Hindi mein bolu ya Angrezi mein bolu. आपके श्रोताओं को सबसे पहले नमस्कार बड़ी खुशी हुई आपके रेडियो स्टेशन पे आने की और बड़ी खुशी हुई आप सबसे मिलकर आपके जमाने में रेडियो स्टेशन सिर्फ सुनाई देता था देखिए आजकल दिखाई भी देता है परीक्षित जी कैसा लग रहा है बहुत अच्छी बात है भाई बोलो बोल ग्रेट अदिति वेलकम तुम तो सिंगापुर में ही हो मतलब yeah. मैं वही शिकायत कर रही थी सबके साथ में कि कितने सालों से सिंगापुर में हो और बताया नहीं हमको कि तुम इन डैडी की बेटी हो हद हो गई यार आई एम वेरी सीक्रेटिव व्हाई बस दैट्स हाउ आई एम आई एम वेरी 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 सीक्रेटिव या आई एम नॉट आई एम नॉट अ शो ई पर्सन and that makes you so 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 special ye baat mujhe yaad hai ki maine pehle bhi kahi thi parikshit ji aapke sawal ke jawab mein sapna ji keh rahi hain good evening sir aap english mein baat kar sakte hain hindi aur english ka what about you say what about you say i can speak in russian and german and french what about you say abhi nahi thodi der mein aap se main sari ki sari speak in english i speak in english i speak in english bilkul main aap se nikalwaungi sari baatein russia wali aap zara ruk jaiye So uh, <laughs> let's go आगे Well, you know, it's so much fun to have you both uh, today हमारे show पर uh, मुझे याद है परीक्षा जी की मैंने जब पढ़ा 1951 फिफ्टी वन से लेकर टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी वन के बीच में मतलब सेवेंटी ईयर्स दैट यू हैव बीन अ पार्ट ऑफ द सिनेमा उसमें मतलब आपने शुरुआत करी जब आप छोटे से बच्चे थे मैं पूछूंगी यहाँ पर सबसे सवाल कि किसी को पता भी है इनकी पहली फिल्म कौन सी थी जब ये कितने साल के थे लेट्स सी इफ पीपल रियली नो लेकिन आप मुझे उस एक्सपीरियंस के बारे में कुछ बता सकते हैं बहुत छोटा सा था आई वाज वेरी स्मॉल एंड डैड हैड अ अ ग्रेट पैल बाय द वेरी फाइन डायरेक्टर राइट नितिन बोस they wanted me in a film called didar uh-huh. and uh, i was i was a kid i was about 10 years old 11 years old and dad we were in bad shape because we had uh, you know shifted 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 i mean we were bohajir the hum log we had come from pakistan and uh, there was no money in the house so i was paid i think 1000 bucks for that movie and dad apologized to me he said sorry sir i'm making you work but we need the money So, uh, a thousand bucks in those days was a hell of a lot. Nineteen fifty-one, fifty-two, and it, it lasted for about a about a month. Yeah, I worked in that film. Didar as a kid sang a song in it. Ah, so what was that? Was it a love story? Or what? What was it? I mean, for ten years you have been in love. I have been in Dilip Sahab's young young role. So obviously, all the pictures. दिलीप साहब की लव स्टोरीज ही होती थी <laughs> और उसमें नरगिस जी वाज प्लेइंग द मेन लीड नरगिस जी दिलीप साहब वाज देयर एंड आई थिंक दादा बुनी अशोक कुमार साहब वाज इन दैट फिल्म आई वाज प्लेइंग द यंग दिलीप कुमार राइट राइट एंड तबस्सुम वाज प्लेइंग द यंग नरगिस जी ओ वाओ वाओ सो तबस्सुम जी हु कैन एवर फॉरगेट तबस्सुम जी हु यूज्ड टू होस्ट some shows on doordarshan i remember and my father used to really enjoy kyunki wo hamesha khilkhilati hasti rehti thi shayad show ka naam tha phool khile hain gulshan gulshan do you remember that i think i think yeah she used to have wow. that program my god i'm amazed at myself 
अच्छा तो वो दस साल से सिलसिला आगे बढ़ा लेकिन फॉर सम रीजन आप एक्टिंग में नहीं जाना चाहते थे एट सम पॉइंट यू डिसाइडेड कि आप बैक स्टेज रहकर डायरेक्शन You know, they, because of that, they would people thrust it on me. <laughs> I, I really didn't want to be an actor. I, I tried my best to avoid it, but then, uh, as uh, Hamlet said, "There's more in heaven and earth than is written in your philosophy." <laughs> Whatever happens, it happens. You know, ke sirah sirah, what it will be, will be. Absolutely. And uh, people cast me in a uh, in a role called you know, movie called "A Rocky Rath," and uh, I didn't really want to work in it. पवित्र पापी The director said, the, "The producer said, 'Nay, you work on this. It will be a big hit.' So after that, people forgot that I can do another job. Raj Sahni, Raj Sahni's son, 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 Raj Hmm. I used to act in all my school plays, and I used to win the awards for the best actress of the school. My always, God. always, I used to win those plays. You yeah. remember something? I remember that. Yes. No, but I want to ask this from Aditi. That in the house, your father's name is Balraj Sahni Ji, and your daddy's name is Parikshit Sahni Ji. So then, suddenly, Aditi, when she was born, she thought, "Oh, wow! Where did she get born? I have to achieve something. What do I have to do to really match up with all these?" Uh, Amazing legends in the family. So, Aditi, कभी pressure लगा school गई लोगों ने बात करी या कभी खुद को लगा ऐसा कि यार ये तो too much हो गया मेरे साथ. A lot of people used to ask me this question when I was younger. Younger. Yeah. Uh, like, oh, when are you going to join the movies? You know, are you going to join the movies? I used to say, no, I'm not. I'm not. I was never interested in acting in in the movies, and also. I will say this again that I I said at the first interview my father was dead against it. <laughs> I remember that part. अच्छा मैं अपने सभी यहाँ पर जो हमारे साथ जुड़े हैं उनको बताना ये चाहती हूँ कि भाई हुआ ये और आप जाके बाद में podcast पे सुन सकते हैं towards the end of that conversation मैंने यही बात करी और उससे पहले अदिति ने कहा कि भाई मेरे daddy नहीं चाहते थे मैंने परीक्षा जी से पूछा तो वो कहते हैं कि भाई इनकी अपनी choice थी तो उस टाइम अदिति ने तो सीधा डैडी डोंट 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 एक्चुअली बिन अ फिल्म शॉट इन कोपेन जी एंड ही वांटेड अदिति इन दैट मूवी एंड आई सेड नो नॉट नॉट एट ऑल आई एम आई एम ग्लैड आई डिड इट बिकॉज़ द गर्ल दैट सम सम पाकिस्तानी वुमन Played that role and she had to do all kinds of funny things. <laughs> all kinds of funny things. Very, very embarrassing clothes and all that. I was glad I said no to no to other things. अच्छा चलिए उस टॉपिक को हटाते हैं मैं आपसे ये पूछना चाहती हूँ कि आपने परीक्षित जी राज कपूर को राज कपूर साहब को आपने मेरा नाम जोकर में असिस्ट किया था राइट जी एस डायरेक्टर के साथ में और उसके बाद आप जब एक्टिंग में चले गए तो टुडे डू यू एवर थिंक कि यार मैं उसी में रहता अगर तो आई वुड हैव बिकम लाइक यू नो अशो बिजनेस में मेजर नाम मैं राज कपूर जी के साथ में मैं कुछ सीखता अलग से इंस्टेड ऑफ बिकमिंग एन एक्टर बिकॉज दैट्स व्हाट यू वांटेड टू डू राइट इवेंचुअली सो डू यू एवर कभी थ्रो बैक में ऐसा मन करता है कि यार क्यों मैंने किया ऐसा या 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 आई फील वेरी बैड अबाउट इट फील वेरी बैड अबाउट दिस Uh, I was with him in Mila uh, Nab Joker, and he was a great friend of, uh, of, of a Russian director Gee. with whom I had worked, Sergei Fyodorovich Bondarchuk, uh, who made War and Peace. They were very great pals, and that fellow told us, uh, Sergei Fyodorovich told Raji, "Hey, let's go, Lelo, in your unit." But after that, he got a movie for me to act in, you know. 
अनोखी रात है दैट वॉज अ बिग हिट उसके बाद एक्टर ही बन गए सब ने कास्टिंग 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 एंड एंड फ्लड ऑफ रोल्स एंड दरास डैड आई सेट भाई क्या करूं मैं ये तो ये तो कुछ रोल्स ही आ रहे हैं दरा दबा दबा यू नो वन ऑफ द अदर ही सेट यू शुड एक्ट आई सेट ओके बिकॉज़ आई हैड वर्क विद हिम ऑन द स्टेज राइट पेज and of course be Gee. good at it of course be good at it that is very important to mera aaj ye jo aapke sath mein conversation hai aap dono ke sath mein there is like two different generations sitting here with me main ye sochti hu kai baar ki um you know like i would hear from my parents a lot of time ki nahi hamare zamane mein ye nahi hota tha ya uh, you know aajkal aisa hota hai so i'm sure aditi you have been also listening to a lot of this sometimes ki pehle aise nahi hota tha right so what what are those things that you feel that you have a conflict with your father and later i'll come to him to ask ki how things have changed you know but aisa kabhi hua ki nahi inke zamane mein aisa hota tha main agar waisa hi hota to better hota inke experience se main seekh leti to better tha do you think you ever felt that mm, no i don't think so I don't think I've ever felt that. So he's been a very yeah. unke zamane ka father. Right. Has he been a hands-on father? Has he been like talking you through the various decisions of life? Yeah. Yes. 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 Awesome, fantastic. Yeah, he was the one who encouraged me a lot because he he saw me as a kid. I was very interested in design and all that. He's the one. I, I remember he came with me to college to submit the form in Sophia's and all that. So yeah, he's been he's been uh, that kind of a father. Lovely, Pariksha ji. मेरे को आपके बारे में ये पता है that when I say a certain sentence, which is the tide will turn. तो आप इसके साथ में डेफिनेटली एक खास एपिसोड जोड़ेंगे द टाइड विल टर्न माय फादर वाज स्विमिंग इन द सी एग्जैक्टली सो मुझे ये बात इसलिए पसंद है क्योंकि थोड़े दिन पहले शायद आपको याद होगा आप मेरे साथ फोन पे बात कर रहे थे और आपने मुझे ये कहा कि सिंगापुर में कैसा चल रहा है सब कुछ एंड यू एंड आई डिस्कस समथिंग अबाउट सिंगापुर एंड देन यू सेड कि The tide always turns. अगर आज दिन बुरे हैं तो कल definitely better होंगे. So I really want that आप वो वाला episode हमारे यहाँ पर सभी audience के साथ में share करें because that is a very 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 amazing episode जो कि आपके और आपके daddy के बीच में था. You see, we were swimming in the usually I didn't want to swim because I was not very good at swimming. Yeah. And uh, he said, चलो यार तुम आवे तेरे 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 छोटे छोटे थोड़े थोड़े पारे में गया मैं मगर टाइड वाज सो स्ट्रॉन्ग दैट टुक मी अवे इनटू द डीप सी एंड आई डिड नॉट हाउ टू स्विम वेरी वेल एंड ही सैंग एंड सैंग एंड सैंग एंड ही सेड यू हैंग ऑन टू मी एंड जस्ट लर्न हाउ टू फ्लोट थिंक ऑफ दिस सी एज योर मदर यू नो शी डस शी थ्रोस यू आउट इट्स फुल ऑफ सॉल्ट सो आई फ्लोटेड एंड आई सेड बट that we are going out because pehle tha hum log ek phalong dur the thodi der ke baad we were out by a mile and i could hardly see the people and they were all correcting on the seashore to you know because they thought we were all finished because we were going out and out and out and out it was then that he said just float in life there will be many times when you you feel that the tide is going out and you are you are lost remember the tide always comes back and yes we floated and he sang <laughs> these old songs and we floated in the sea and then the tide turned and it threw us back on the shore 
by the way we we went out uh, at uh, at where where we we used to live now Tajay Aditi and came out near Chetanji's house couple of miles they 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 that's other side but we came out and he told me when when I was so tired by God I went to sleep and uh, <laughs> when I woke up he said he said I told you better remember this for life okay the tide always turns there will be many times when you will be you know like into into in very deep sea and think that everything is lost. That's right. Remember this. Tide always turns. Yeah, the tide definitely. That's, that's what I wanted to tell uh, you when when you when Aditi told me and Tanya told me. Tanya said things are not there as they used to be in uh, Singapore. I said, well, they are not there the way they used to be in India. In India, things are very good now. And she said, no, well, things are a little different now in Singapore. I said, the tide always turns. Absolutely. Or it will be back to back to square one. Absolutely. So well, this thing is the tide always turns. Wali thing is, we take a small 10 seconds break. We come back because the tide will always turn. And after that, we are going to talk about that at one time, uh, Russia was going to Parikshit Ji. And Russia was going to talk about what they were doing. We will talk about it. Now, think about it. You have 10 seconds. Then we will talk about it. Delectable Chai Course Bengali Cuisine Menu Pure Saad Din Only at 5th Season Group of Restaurants Taste Karne Ke Liye WhatsApp 91557645 Or Log On To www.5thseason.sg Alright Let's Get Welcome back. Our exclusive live conversation with Bollywood actor and author Parikshit Sahani Ji and of course his amazing daughter who is sitting in this time and is sitting in this time. Tell me. Tell me. Tell me. What do I tell you? I'm going to ask you to ask you to ask you to ask you to study in Russia. Right? और अब मैं धीरे-धीरे आपकी किताब पर आ रही हूँ, which is your second book. We'll talk about the first one, but फिलहाल आपकी दूसरी जो किताब है, which is called Strange Encounters. उसमें आपने बड़े सारे किस्सों का जिक्र किया है. And you have mm-hmm. mentioned about Russia. You have mentioned about your uh, your meetings with different people across the world, different uh, episodes. लेकिन मुझे somehow वो Russia वाली जो आपकी पूरी कहानी है, वो बहुत ही ज़्यादा uh, I found it very interesting and I found it so real. So, I would like to share with us that you uh, what really happened, why you went to Russia, what happened that made you different from the others and of course the learnings. That would be really interesting. Firstly, of course, I'd like people to buy the book and read it. Of course. <laughs> of course. <laughs> I went there because, uh, you know, dad was a Marxist and uh, he believed that Russia is the uh, look at the future. Gee. Soviet Union, it was at that time. The Communist Party, CPSU, used to rule around, rule with an iron fist. And uh, I had heard about this Russia, Russia, Russia since I was a kid, you know. Okay, Russia is a great country, and communism, and socialism, and Marxism, and all that. So when I finished my college in St. Stephen's in Delhi, he said, what would you like to do? I said, I'd like to go and see uh, for myself. Oh, what is this all Russia all about? And that's how I went there. Just to have a look. But I must say that I was, and so was my sister. Kalpana was there, mm-hmm. my cousin's sister. We were both very disillusioned. Russia was not what it was at, under the Soviet people. It was the Soviet Union then, USSR. That's it's different now. I've not been there, but it's a different place now. Very, very, I mean, the Goa is full of uh, Russians now. In those days, they they, they, they they could get out of their own country. No, no, I'm I'm asking about when you took your admission in college, and all the girls were interested in the Russian girls, I was talking about that episode. Man, you're asking me to ask me about that question. Man, you're asking me to ask me about that question. Man, you're asking me to ask me about that <laughs> I know about it. There's nothing. I mean, I read it in the book. So, no, I was I was not much of a womanizer, but 
girls were uh, attracted because I was the only Indian student in in, in my institute. Ji. So, I don't blame them. Phir? And I can't say the rest of it in front of my daughter. <laughs> लेकिन ये लड़का इसको इंटरेस्ट ही नहीं था बिल्कुल भी लड़कियों में so he had this thing about brahmacharya and don't ever look at girls and things like that so that's how i was when i went to russia and they thought i was abnormal <laughs> <laughs> russian ladkiyon ke samne agar aap brahmacharya ki baatein karoge to sabhi no abnormal samjhenge ye kaisi baat hui phir kya kiya ye batao aapko seriously maine aapka kabhi russia mein controversy nahi suni maine kabhi aapki film industry mein controversy nahi suni aise kaise well uh, controversy is something that dad uh, taught me <laughs> see he, he was a help of organizer i must say <laughs> he had a girl he had a, he had a girl girlfriend in russia also called natasha talstoya who was <laughs> distant relative of talstoy ji <laughs> and he had his girlfriend he had his girlfriend in india also but uh, he made it a point uh, to keep it all under 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 wraps you know But why? I mean, grandfather ने तो आपके डैडी को भी यही बात सिखाई होगी ना कि भाई बिल्कुल पढ़ने के लिए जाओ और वापस आओ उन्होंने तो फॉलो किया नहीं आप क्यों फॉलो करने में लगे हुए थे नहीं डैड ऑल्सो फॉलो इट ही केप्ट एवरी थिंग अंडर रैप्स एनीथिंग रिटन अबाउट हिम एंड विद लॉट ऑफ एक्टर्स आई नो बट ही Firstly, I had these two daughters. I didn't want it to come in print, you know. Because daddy ka ye chal raha hai. And secondly, I was I was a pretty strict guy. I brought up in this Arya Samaji tradition. As a rule, I stayed away from the heroines. I fell in love with a lot of them, but I stayed away from them. <laughs> okay, you're coming on this confession. They look so beautiful in their makeup. My God, I don't want to name them. They were all very beautiful, and I. राखीफुल The moment they put on that makeup and the, those clothes, they were eyes to fall in love with them. <laughs> I never showed it. I never showed it. <laughs> I, I, I was. You can't. I mean, I mean, they are meant to. I mean, they they dressed up like that and they made up like that because the audiences were never supposed to fall in love with them. That is, that and the audiences true. did. The audiences did. बिल्कुल बिल्कुल. So, uh, Aditi, I Uh, your dad from an actor of course started as a director and then as an actor and somebody who's been known across not only because of his father but he had his independent stature that he's established over the years right lekin ek author ki journey jab inhone shuru kari right and he must have been so excited and i want to share this picture with everybody where Amitabh Bachchan uh, sahab is there and then of course there's yourself and Tanya along with your daddy right uh, to ye jo photo hai uh, ye bataiye ki the first time he told you that beta main likh raha hu ya did he tell you after he had written how did the whole episode go i just want to know about the non conformist he told me i think when he had written quite a bit of it already then um, i was i was said acha papa really you think you should write Uh, a book i don't know i was a little bit um, doubtful pata nahi because nobody knows you as a writer you know uh, but he said that uh, but he loves to write i know that he's been a, he loves writing so i said okay papa if this is something you want to do you want to write a book on dada ji go ahead and write it and uh, he gave me he used to send me 
uh, it, um, you know the chapters by email read it and all and i used to read it and i i loved it i really loved it the way he is written you know everything about my grandfather all episodes of, of, about his own life i really loved the book and uh, i think uh, he's i think he's a fabulous writer all right and jab tum wahan par gayi for the launch and you saw uh, amitabh bachchan ji ka uh, of course usme kitab mein aage forward bhi hai and at the same time he sort of read a few lines uh, how did you feel and how was how was what was the look on your father's face i would love to know that as well i think my father was uh, looking um, he felt proud of himself i think i'm not saying it in a negative way that he was you know being very proud and arrogant but i think he felt uh happy that uh, he, it is it has come to this that uh, mr bachchan is reading out uh, uh, you know the forward about my grandfather's book so i i could see that he was really happy about it he was proud of himself you know for doing this right and and what was your feeling you were proud of him very very proud i was proud of him yes i was proud of him proud of my grandfather I'm very proud of my grandfather because he was a really a great man besides being a great actor he was also a great man because i so many things my father has told me over the years about him so and, yeah so i was yeah i felt proud yeah wonderful wonderful सो so, uh, मैं दोनों किताबों का नाम बताना चाहूंगी यहाँ पर सपना जी पूछ रही हैं कि दोनों किताबों का नाम सो so, सबसे पहले तो आपकी फर्स्ट बुक व्हिच वाज लॉन्च्ड व्हाट थ्री इयर्स अगो वाज इट तीन साल पहले या एंड दिस वाज द नॉन कंफर्मिस्ट जो कि बलराज सहानी जी की लाइफ पर बेस्ड है एंड अबाउट योर एपिसोड अबाउट हिम बट वाई डोंट यू टेल अस अबाउट अबाउट द नॉन कन्फर्मिस्ट फर्स्ट एंड देन द स्ट्रेंज एनकाउंटर्स well actually non conformist was uh, suggested by the penguin people they said we like a book on your dad we write a few chapters and let mm. let me let us see if it is interesting enough and i wrote a few chapters and they said sir this is fantastic please continue so i wrote the whole book i enjoyed it thoroughly with a capital t it was wonderful writing about him and uh, the book was published but uh, luckily unluckily that was the time of the corona virus yes and the book was not uh, you know didn't see much the light of the day of day but uh, then uh, came and after that i felt like i mean you know what shelly said about poetry is true about writing it that it should come to a man like leaves to a tree otherwise it didn't come at all i mean right. writing is like a like 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 a like a like a passion you know it, 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 i mean it, you don't you feel this is this is a hunger if you don't write you feel uh, incomplete so yeah. i bisham ji my uncle mr bisham sani was a great writer mm. and a hindi writer and he used to keep telling me please write please write please write if there anything that 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 trivia that, that 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 keeps itching your brain all the time <laughs> nagging you put it down on paper so really? that is how that is how this this other one was born this uh, strange thing these are things that are in my mind for a long time you know they were yeah. nagging me they were nagging me that when that i said bishani ne bishani died many years ago uh-huh. but i have his lectures that he gave me i kept i wrote them down and he said you sit down and write about them you'll like it and i sat down and i wrote about them and then that that how that how the strange encounters was born so uh why was the first one named the non conformist what was the story behind that well i i'll tell you this much that i did uh, it was called the it was, it was i did want to call it that but it was named by the pigment people acha okay but kyun because he was not conforming to any rules or was it because he, no, he was he was not conformist i mean he did he went against all the rules of acting i mean all the rules of being, being a star acting of course he knew very well because he you know he had read stanislavski and he had been on the stage and ji ji great actor that's right uh, but he did conform to being a uh, a star 
he insisted on a long time in driving a motorcycle <laughs> and he insisted on living in a small flat small house he right. insisted on going to the to the beach and swimming in the sea for long 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 hours and he was a not conformist that way even when he even when he became a big star right so what's coming next abhi to uh, non conformist ki baatein ho gayi aapke strange encounters ki baatein ho gayi ab next aajkal kya likh rahe hain aap kya aane wala hai aajkal i have written about 6 7 7 stories okay the last one has been uh, trashed by one or two friends of mine you know one is la harshi you know harshi aditi she says that i need to i have the few people i i use as bounce boards she is a writer herself and then there is tanuf who is my editor okay. tanuf khan she in uh, she in uh, in jaipur and uh, so i'm i the next is about 10 stories when i have 10 stories ready six are ready six or seven are ready three more to go and i've got the subjects but i have to sit down and write them down lovely and the next will be a book of short stories ji सो so, पहली किताब ऑफ कोर्स अमिताभ बच्चन जी ने लॉन्च करी दूसरी किताब यहाँ पर देख रहे हैं कि अनुपम खेर जी ने लॉन्च करी लेकिन फर्स्ट लॉन्च एंड शी इज बीन देर सो um aage bhi we really hope that we will continue to see aapki writings after all aap uh, akele rehte hain bilkul shaan se mumbai mein koi pareshan karne wala nahi hai aur aap apne i wish there was i wish there was i'm just fed up of living alone i wish that aditi and tanya uh, is coming now and then aditi is coming in november i keep i, I just look forward to their coming here और देखो mujhe ek bar bhi nahi keh rahe ki beta tum bhi aana to mere se mil lena ek bar nahi bola inhone mere ko I'd be very very happy if you came, my dear. I will definitely. The day I'm in Mumbai, I'm going to call you and I'm. My phone, you take it. No, I phone you. Take it. So, sure, sure. <laughs> Aditi, any any uh, special words that you would like to say to your dad on our show today, which which is about how you feel, anything you want to convey, anything you feel. कि भैया हमारी कहानी क्यों नहीं लिखते सारी दुनिया की लिखते हमारे बारे में क्यों नहीं लिखते What would you say? I would just like to. to say that i'm very proud of you papa you've been a wonderful father you've uh, been a wonderful uh, man i'm very proud of what you're doing and i and i want you to have a long healthy life and you write many many books and i want to tell you that i love you babe i know i know i love you too <laughs> थैंक यू अदिति एंड अदिति सिंगापुर में हो अपडेट देते रहना क्या चल रहा है पापा की लाइफ में तुम्हारी लाइफ में सो दैट वी कैन कीप टॉकिंग अबाउट इट वे कैन वी गेट द बुक मुझे सबसे इम्पोर्टेंट चीज है आई नो देर आई बुक्स लेकिन फिजिकल टॉपिक परफेक्ट सो गाइज वी डू इंसिस्ट की आप जाके जरूर पढ़े एमेजोन से द नॉन कन्फर्मिस्ट एज वेल एज स्ट्रेंज एनकाउंटर्स मैंने दोनों किताबों के बारे में इतना कुछ सुना है ऑफ कोर्स स्ट्रेंज एनकाउंटर्स तो मैंने पढ़ी भी है टू अ लार्ज एक्सटेंट बट हैविंग दैट बुक इन योर हैंड इट्स अ डिफरेंट फीलिंग ऑल टुगेदर और जब भी परीक्षित जी आएंगे बॉम्बे से सिंगापुर तो साइन भी करके देंगे दैट इज माय प्रॉमिस टू एवरीबडी यस ऑल राइट थैंक यू सो मच गाइस फॉर बीइंग विद अस टुडे एंड आप अपना ध्यान रखिएगा हमें पता है आपकी सर्जरी हुई है टेक लॉट्स ऑफ केयर ऑफ योरसेल्फ and we will be seeing everyone again thank you thanks a lot and god bless god bless you god bless thank you, you. you pariksha ji for being with thanks, us thanks renuka thank you so much bye bye
All right. Ah, that was quite a lovely, lovely, lovely conversation. I would say, guys, a short of 10 seconds ka break and I'll come back and say my goodbye. <laughs> What an amazing show, I must say. Aise conversations jab karti hu na, with people who've got pearls of experience, I tell you, I feel totally amazed, amazed by how flawlessly, how easily they can share their experience with everybody without even thinking, ki nahi, hume ye nahi batana hai ya wo nahi batana You know, it's so natural. In se jab bhi maine phone pe baat kari hai, jaise bhi hua, I've always been myself and he's been himself that's the important thing and with aditi i tell you being around in singapore he knows so much about singapore he loves singapore and the last time when he and i spoke and he said singapore abhi badal chuka hai lekin the tide will turn so that's what we take away from this show today guys the tide will turn you may feel low today you may feel a pandemic has just uh, uh, been uh, across the world and pata nahi duniya dobara se theek hogi nahi hogi Hamara kya or nuksan hoga, health ka kya hoga, financially uh, kya hoga, inflation ka kya hoga, sab kuch hoga. Bilkul, because that's life. Lekin sab se badi baat hai that the tide will turn. Definitely get your copies, guys, The Non Conformist and, of course, that Strange Encounters. Both of them are just amazingly written by Parikshit Sahani ji. And on this uh, beautiful evening, I just want to say goodbye to you. Continue listening to Radio Masti 24 7. And if there's anything that you feel we've missed out from today, then do write to us at info at radiomasti.com.sg. Have a fantastic evening ahead. Bye. For now. Make sure you add Masti to your lives. Download Download the app today and stay energized and connected on the go. Radio Musty 24-7 Live, Singapore's only Bollywood radio since 2000.